Me question. Uh, how long have you lived in Beverly? Well, I was born here 80 years ago, and I lived here. Uh, I spent some time. I went to school in Elwood, and I went to school in California, and then I came back to Bear River, and to Elwood, and then back to Bear River. And I spent seventh and eighth grade here, and then I graduated from Bear River High School. And then I got married and spent 11 years out in Howell, Utah, way out west. And then I spent 10 years in Salt Lake City, and then I moved back to Bear River City in about 1970. So I've been here since then. <laughs> but I was born here. The house I was born in isn't here anymore. <laughs> And we've lived in another house here that is not here anymore, and another house up here that's still here, but uh, Elmo Christensen owns it now. When is your birthday? March the 28th, 1933. What do you know about Beverly I know it's a wonderful place to live. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good place to have children to grow up, because we're protected here, we're safe, from big city life and dangers, although we still have to be careful. But it's a friendly place, and uh, everybody cares for everybody, I think, is a, is a special feeling that we have here. People like to be buried in Bear River City Cemetery and have their funerals here because we bring, bring such good food to the that's a good reason to be here. <laughs> How many kids do you have? I have six children, four girls and two boys, and I have 16 grandchildren and 32 great-grandchildren and one great-great-grandson. Hmm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Uh, what pet did you have going I didn't have any pets. I, I didn't, uh, the kids had dogs, uh, but not very many. We just didn't, we, I didn't like pets. Did you have cars when you were a kid? Did I have what? Cars. Did you go to school? Did you get your family on a car or did you get Oh, around? car, car, yes. Uh, yeah, we always had a car. I don't remember the earlier cars. But when I was in high school, my dad had a Hudson, and we just always had cars, it seems like. How many brothers or sisters okay. do you have? I have uh, five sisters and two brothers. Hmm. Can you tell us a story about Billy? Oh my goodness, I don't know. Uh, my grandfather, my great-grandfather had a store up in the north end of town, and it was a a general store and he a lot of the housewives in Bear River City would save their eggs and come and give them to great grandpa Thompson for money and then he would keep the eggs and then sell them and he was the first guy who started the milk white eggs is what it, he started that name these are milk white eggs he said because his his lady customers would uh, feed their chickens milk I don't know if it's a true story or not, but that's the story that <laughs> comes down to us. And, um, oh, gee, I don't know, I'd have to think about other little, my, my, one of my grandfathers, Grandpa Iverson over here, was a sheep herder, and he would go out and herd sheep all around the west, and then he'd come back home and stay for a little while, and then he'd go back out again, but my Grandpa Thompson, my great-grandpa Thompson, who was one of the first founders here. He stayed here and uh, helped settle Bear River City. It was a bunch of old Danish, well, I shouldn't call them old Danish, <laughs> anyway, Danishmen who came here with their wives and settled Bear River City and just made it a nice, friendly little town. And so what happened is all these Danish people came here and most all of us earlier on were related one way or the other. Everybody had a son on the end of their names, the Jensen's, the Hansons, the Andersons, the Iversons, the Thompsons, the Larsons, the <laughs> and then <Christians>. intermarried and, <laughs> and so you'd just uh, lots and lots of cousins <laughs> at you know, at that time. And uh 
But I'd have to think a while to think up some. <laughs> any What's other. your earliest memory of living in Bergen? My State? earliest member, uh -huh. uh, memory of living here would be, um, oh my goodness, I guess uh, probably going to school over here at the old schoolhouse. The teachers were, I remember back into the second grade. And there was a lot, and that was probably about the third schoolhouse that was then, too, because we've got a lot of schoolhouses over there. It's in the same area, same, same site? Yeah, on that same block, probably right in the middle where the town hall is now was where the schoolhouse was when I went to school. And there was a lot of big old poplar trees all around that lot, and they decided one year to cut them down, and they told us children not to go out and play on those big long trees laid. So I went out there and of course I was a tomboy so I had to play on the trees and got down between two limbs and just tore my knee. Oh it hurt so bad for a for, for long long time and they just they had warned me not to do it but I did it anyway. So. Did you have to walk to school? Oh yeah we always walked yeah. Were there buses for the outer skirts? Of no, not just... that I remember buses coming. Yeah, but they, they would have to. One, there for a little while we lived out on a farm out here, and out on this last road out here, and I would walk through the field to the schoolhouse and walk up. But then there, then there, yeah, we had buses, but I don't remember them very much because I was. Oh, too little, I guess, to really remember the buses. But, um, yeah, the kids out there had to get in here, and kids crossed the river, so... But I don't remember them particularly. So... Well, I'm curious. What if, can you tell us about the old store that's here on Main Street? Oh, yeah. That's They're the old Hanson store, and uh, Bernard and Cindy run that store, and they had, it was a general store, and they had an ice cream parlor in there with ice cream chairs like these in there, and they'd serve sundaes and malts, and, and uh, they had overalls and, and work shirts and meat and everything. It was just a general, general store, and uh, did a business for a long, even after I moved back here in the 70s, it was still working. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, then it, gradually the folks just went, and they only had two boys, and the one boy moved to Ogden, the other boy, boy stayed here, and he's up in a nursing home up in Tremont right now. And the grandkids, uh, one of the great-grandsons, I guess, lives in the house, and they were, were not interested in the store or renewing it or or doing anything, it's falling apart. The roof is caving in, and mm -hmm. but it was just a general store with the gas pumps, and they had a bench out in front. And the old guys who, the old guys who didn't, <laughs> who were retired, would go up there and sit and visit and talk all day. And <laughs> it was a fun place to. And after school, we'd go there and have a coke or an ice cream cone, penny candy. They had a lot of penny candy there. That was fun. You don't find penny candy anymore. So you liked to go in there? Oh yeah, we always went in there. Yeah. Hmm. yeah you said the, there's a high school here. Was that the same as the elementary school? So it was combined, or was that a separate? No, high school was up at Bear River High. Oh, Bear River High. Bear River. Yeah, yeah, that's the same. What, we went to eighth grade here and then to Bear River. Oh. Okay. box Shelter. We could split and go either way at that particular time. Same as now. Huh. Yeah. 